Can't you see we're having a conversation? I'm just looking for a friend. Lawan, you sure you know what to do if you catch that tiger by the tail? Anyhow, she's probably out in the field somewhere, but you can ask at the bar. <laughs> Hey, looking for Lawan? You know I can find her? She was just here. Food. Still didn't break your neck? Good. It's him. The gajo you were talking about. Damn you. I've heard a lot about you. Huh. I haven't heard a thing about you at all. Do we have to see Frank? To Kandano, Rocky Ressa Aja, Ojinwe Chibiasa. Back off, jackass. What are you talking about? That Levant friends are my friends. Daniel says that to get the power flowing, we have to reactivate the other substations. On, but the cables couldn't take it. Fifteen years took a toll. Atrophy musculare means chuite. Untrained muscles wither. Come on, Frank's room is over there. Let's figure out why Waltz turned it on in the first place. Good talk, Gajo. Better watch your back. What do you think Frank doing with the handsome fella? It's a shame he's such a booze hound. Are we going? One thing about Frank. Do you see these people? Anywhere else, they'd be savages at each other's throats, but not here. Here, they stay calm, cool, and collected because of Frank. They respect him because he was a night runner. Everyone here owes him something, including me. If it wasn't for Frank, I wouldn't be here. And where would you be? In a dark zone as a biter, or in some den, high and about to get higher. Frank will help us. You can rely on him too. Trust me. Ready? Let's go. Frank! They slaughtered us one by one like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with... Robic's been dead for years, Frank. Pull yourself together. You got a visitor. And who's that? Queen of fucking England? I gotta act old Danny now. This is Aiden. He has the GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. 
Where'd you get it? Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want a Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Loan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Loan can get the fuck out of my face now. I got more important things in my mind. <sighs> worked if that fucker had showed up at the TV station. You were right, Ravik. Fucking traitor. Without him, we were like kids with slingshots going up against tanks. Seems we're done here. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Waltz turned the power on with this key for the first time in years. And I doubt he did that out of the kindness of his heart. And you don't give a fuck? Frank, get your shit together. You were a legend. Fucking commander of the Night Runners. Do you even remember that? That Frank is dead, Luan. He died with the others at the TV station. Why the fuck would Waltz turn on the power? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. But if you're looking for the GRE database, you need to find a terminal to access it. But the thing is, I... I have no idea where one could be. And those who knew are... probably long dead. But... the good news is we'll probably be dead ourselves soon enough. Cheers. Now... Get the fuck out of my quarters. <laughs> Fucking drunkard. You hear that? Fuck. Something's happening. Will you check? I'm right behind you. I'm sure. I've seen them. Renegades in the central loop? Nonsense. To all units, renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over. Ugh! <laughs> 
Renegades in the area. Yes, Commander. You, you all right, boy? Jack, man. Come on, Frank. You all right? I saw you fight. What's your name? Aiden. If it weren't for you, a lot more would be dead. Come on, boys. Search the area. Sir, I have a question. We're looking for a GRE database. Most GRE equipment has been dead for years. What do you need this database for? With your knowledge of the city? You know GRE places inside out. Aiden and I need to find this database. Will you help us? Luan, he's your friend. <laughs> Aiden? You could say that. I've never heard of you, Aiden. Where are you from? I'm a pilgrim. I came from outside the walls. So you've seen a lot? You probably came through old Villador too, right? All right, what do you want to know? A lot has been going on there lately. We lost our commander, and the Bazarians tried to cut off our power source. Fortunately, they failed, and we held our position. But the fighting continues. We're losing people. I also lost contact with the new commander, Ator and his unit. Know anything about them? We found Waltz, but he overpowered us and escaped. What? Where? In the tunnels, near the car plant. Waltz decimated Ader's squad. I, I barely managed to escape. I shouldn't have left him like this. We need to find out what's going on there. As for the GRE equipment you're asking about, you can ask Lieutenant Rowe. If something's working, he'll know about it. Lately, he and his unit have been securing the Culver Island and New Dawn Park areas. But because of the Butcher's raid, we had to go radio silent. So you have to look for him yourselves. If you find him, give him these. What are they? Orders. For him and the other units. Move it, boys. Let's go. Talk.
Uh, not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Shit. Hang on. I'm on my way. Quick! Help me! Quick! Help me! Let's kick those renegades' asses! Good. They're taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's Elsa brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. Other... Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen, I'm just a messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're going to tell us. You want to drag this out or take care of it here and now? Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. You know, citizen, I feel proud. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden. I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah. Thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan.
go. There's nothing more to say. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. You're clear. Commander in from the outskirts. He's barely breathing. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. the canteen yeah I, I guess from the fight in the canteen uh maybe don't sweat it you can really hold your own i respect that aiden right commander told me to brief you about faction matters missy welcomes you uh who's missy it's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Boy. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. The Butchers are our greatest enemy. 
He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Peak and rule must be enforced. Otherwise, civilization will go to shit. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. <laughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. It's personal. Let's leave it at that for now. I understand. That's fine. For now. I brought all that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. How do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're going to light it up with UV lamps.
Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Go. Chemicals against civilians. God knows what he'd throw at us soldiers. Skirts. He's barely breathing. Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs. <clears throat> Man, we didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne in a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. Will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. 
I listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try Did you make headway with the Papa's ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Shame you don't have a Come to me back at my place. We'll it. talk. Even a drop of Pino. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Good luck. Bring your booze and brows.
The one? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Ah, oh, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck.
Got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. You have it? Good. <sighs> Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so... What's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. What? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. I could use someone like you on my side. And I can be of help to you. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you.
Juan? Success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. For you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow, the dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV stick. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Oh, 
Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning. And it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Bro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. I used to be in the force before the plague hit. Turned in my badge when they asked us to shoot civilians after Black Monday. You know what I hear? The butchers... is still in the building. We need the power ASAP. God damn it. The area is swarming with renegades, Ro. But I'm handling them. Bro, I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Fast.
the help pay cake dog now. Be a good boy. Get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Mm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. Fellas. <laughs> Think he'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddy did? Let's check and see. <laughs> Hey, Ro, it's all powered on. Ro, you receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree. Over here. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Yeah, boys are going deeper into the building. The area will be secured soon. Haul your ass over here. Time to do some climbing.
Who's already waiting for you, Pilgrim? What if electricity really brightens the place up? But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's Roe. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for him. Just leave it. Get out. Now. We're... trying... Ah! Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there.
Nearly on. That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Bro. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? Power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses.
I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Leon's gone. Fuck. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. You're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. Want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's 
Lebowski. Oh, Sorry, boss. Fuck. Won't say a beep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wisbowski. Looks clear. Wisbowski! Bowski? Oh, fuck. There's Bowski? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck.
Juan? Juan, I... I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry. <laughs> Luan. Luan. Did you get Frank? Don't leave me here!
left of him. Aiden, where are you? The 30th floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank? Wait! Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffin. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Some of our equipment should still be there, in the elevator shaft. One or two floors above you. Frank, I think I found it. It's at four. It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay.
I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave you Get on your up. own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. Wait, what? No, no way, Luan. Luan? I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch. That's it. It worked. Great. And listen. Uh, been thinking. Radio New Hope is still an option. But it's your choice. Juan gets what he wants and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call.
Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you play on your radio station. Uh, don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank, you handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk. I can't believe it. I'll take it back, I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden, and I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. See you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look, so... Let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers now? Is this some kind of joke or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, you said... Uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? There aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Because you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers. Back? Were they stolen? The one? Like, if you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? A 
Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Tape. Hmm. <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know. Almost, almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? 
I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone.
Booze. Yeah, such an original way to cope with your loss. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I know someone else who does it. You wouldn't know him by any chance. You suck at being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm facing tough competition here. At least you're not crying anymore. I wasn't crying. Yeah, something got in your eye. <laughs> I'm glad it's out now. Shut the fuck up, Aiden. I will, if you let me have some of Frank's medicine. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I'm... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See, whatness? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. Stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Eden. Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Then calm down. Come to the fisheye, and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. Mm-hmm. 
I offer more items than there are crows in the sky.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Down the guys and head east. Walk in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street. Just 
by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working and we can keep up with them. Got it. I thought that Killian was a harmless eccentric. Turns out he was a night runner. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting Harrison Boulevard, all opposite. Walks 
will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who will help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. I'm for an out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like the one. I'll be in touch.
See? Wolf was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! <clears throat> <clears throat> Time to say goodbye to you. Either I'm mine or you're that. Good. 